All right, now we're doing 8Q training JS number 21 methods of string object trim and the string template. All right, so there's all that, and our task is to uh, coding a lot, coding in function five line function accepts one parameter s is a string all right and we're going to return a string of five lines new line symbol is this uh the first line has has one second has two all the way to the fifth who which has five uh s's okay uh, the two sides of the parameter s may contain some white space so we need to clear them before using and uh using a string template can make it easier all right or we can do it another way so we're going to do const here five lines s equals s and then do a little bit of a arrow function here so on this one we're going to make an array okay and inside that array oh we're going to make an array with five uh, different things with five different uh, elements and inside each one of those we're going to uh, do a map function on it and then we're going to trim the white space in there and then we're, we're going to make it repeat uh, the string as many times as uh, the index plus one and then we're going to join it all together with these ends right here let me show you what I'm talking about first let's get an array bracket right there and to create the array, we're going to make an array constructor, which is the constructor used to make an array. All right, so we're going to say array like this. And the syntax in this, hmm, anyway, you can put array and then array length. That's what we're going to do, yeah. So array length five right there. All right, now to access, to make this actually a thing though, we're gonna to have to use the spread syntax, which allows an inter iterable such as an array expression or string to be expanded in places where zero or more arguments are expected, okay? So we just go dot, 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 and now it's good to go. Now we can just treat this as if it's an array with five indexes, okay? So now we're going to uh, fill those five indexes with this map uh, method which creates a new array populated with the results of calling a provided function on every element in the calling array okay and uh, the syntax we're going to be using is this uh, element index we're going to ignore the element and only worry about the index and this one okay so we're going to do dot map and we're going to say blank comma index and then we're going to do arrow function and first things first, when S comes in, we want to trim it down on both sides of the white space. So we're going to use this trim thing. The trim method removes white space from both ends of the string, right? So we're going to say S dot trim. All right. And then we're going to want to repeat it. So we're going to use repeat here, which uh, the repeat method constructs and returns a new string, which can contains the specified number of copies on the string. So repeat in the count right there all right so we're going to say dot repeat and the count is going to be the index plus one so index zero plus one and whatnot so index plus one all right now that we've got that done we're going to need to join all of these arrays that we just create all these uh, elements together and have this slash in in it so we're going to do uh, dot join and the join method creates and returns a new string by concatenating, concatenating all of the elements in an array or array like object separated by commas or a specified separator string and that string is going to be that slash in so we're going to say dot join here's the string inside of it slash in let's see if this works test it out perfect attempt it perfect submit it all right, my solutions, just me, very much pleased with this, best practice in my opinion, and we'll see you next time.